Welcome back. I am going to show you how I fix the broken armrest on my Herman Miller Aeron chair. The first thing we need to do is remove these four torque screws. This will allow us to remove the back. As you can see here, when I remove the back, all the broken hardware fell out from the arm. Right here you can see what actually failed. The head of the screw popped off and the arm fell off the chair. Here's the remainder of the hardware that fell out from when removing the back. The rest is all pretty much still reusable, so all we need to do is replace the screw. I'm going to use my channel locks to unscrew the screw from the tightening nut. I'll hold the tightening nut with my hand while I turn the screw. Link is in the description for all the hardware and tools I used for this repair. Hey, if you're getting value out of this video, hit like and subscribe to my channel for more videos. Pay close attention to the tightening nut. On one side is a washer and the other side is a washer bearing assembly. You'll need to put them back the exact same way they came out. I'm using an M6 by 2.5 inch grade 8 bolt for the replacement. Now I'm just reversing the process and putting all the hardware back together that was in the arm. My camera angle was bad at that point and all you saw was the back of my head. I'm using a hex driver while holding the tightening nut to tighten up the bolt. You may have to adjust it a little bit so that the bolt is in the right position, otherwise it won't slide up or down. I'm going to loosen the nut a little bit here and slide the arm up and down. If it's too loose or too tight, I'll adjust the bolt that's holding the nut and assembly together. Here I'm just doing a little more adjustment. It took a few attempts to get the nut and the bolt just at the right position so that the arm was able to slide up and down without wobbling. Now I'm going to slide the back back in the channel and reattach the four screws that hold the back on. I start by hand threading all four screws before tightening them down with a screwdriver. Finally, after I get the back on, I just do a little more adjustment and testing to make sure everything is working fine still. Here's the original bolt that broke. All that happened was the head popped off, which allowed the arm essentially to fall off the chair. Link is in the description for all the hardware and tools I used for this repair.
here's the hardware and the correct order it all goes back in and here are the tools I use for this repair. Thanks for watching and subscribe for more videos.